Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. In this video I want to talk about something a little bit unusual, a little bit weird. I want to talk about the future of cello cases. Will we see AI or robotic cello cases in the future? Before we get started I'd just like to say if you do enjoy these kind of videos please consider subscribing, liking or commenting because it really does help the channel quite a lot. So thank you in advance for any support that you may be able to give. So I'm sure we're all familiar with the violoncello, or the cello as it's also known, a very beautiful instrument and member of the bowed stringed instrument family. But what can we do in the future to make it easier to carry, to make it more secure, to in general make carrying a cello an easier process? So there are many different types of cello cases. There are normal ones and the older wooden ones. You've got composite ones, plastic ones, fabric ones, hard cases, soft cases and everything in between really. There really is a plethora of different types of cases. But they're all a little bit unpractical and even with the really light modern ones they're still kind of heavy and bulky and difficult to get around really. So what if we could design something to help a musician uh, move their cello around? Now you may be asking yourself why am I interested in this and why am I thinking about this and the truth is I'm not really sure it's just that every now and then I get a weird idea in my head and I just think to myself well carrying cellos seems to be quite difficult I'm not a cellist myself but I see a lot of people carrying them it seems a bit awkward I've carried some myself they are quite heavy and I just thought well surely there must be a better way to do this no? So I thought, what about if someone designs or makes an AI or robotic cello case? Maybe that could help with some of the issues of carrying cellos around. Then I thought, what about the future of technology, the future of the world? What if there was a dystopian future? And I thought, well, maybe looking at the way that technology is going, you might want a cello case that could carry your cello for you could carry it to concerts to rehearsals maybe that cello case could have inbuilt security or maybe it could even be your friend maybe it could be an AI and it could talk to you or maybe it has like kind of weapons or so to defend uh, against potential thieves like th so many things that we could really look into so I thought well I don't have mega money, I don't have a research lab, I don't have engineering equipment, so what's the next best thing? Maybe it's to get some concepts together. So I thought, well, we're talking about AI and we're talking about robotic stuff, so let's move away from that and let's get some real artists to do some concept drawings. So of course, where did I go? Everyone's favourite platform, to Fiverr. So I got together a load of different artists to... Uh, draw up a few interesting concepts of AI or robotic cello cases. I gave them a similar spec, as I just mentioned, kind of uh, dystopian future, maybe a cello case which can take your cello upstairs and things like that, might be able to protect you, might be your friend, all of that kind of stuff. And uh, what we're going to do in this video is just have a look at that artwork and see what uh, people come up with. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I have all of the Fiverr artists that I've worked with prepared up here ready to go. Uh, some people did more than one piece, it depends really what we discussed. Um, this is not a video about kind of Fiverr and what you can get for whatever money. This is purely just about kind of what interesting concepts can we get from different people. Um, I will put a link to all the different people in the description if you're interested in working with them and I'll also call out their names when I look through it but this is just basically a really rough kind of look at um, different kind of artwork and different concepts and to discuss it and if people like this and think it's a good video then we could do more of this in the future and we could get more artists involved so do let me know uh, what you think about it. So first up we have Asan Siddiqui 10 who's presented uh, a few different options here. I think we also have a version without the uh, rings and a little bit kind of lighter but essentially the same so going from the left here we have an interesting uh, robotic cello case has a little display there and some kind of like visual aid and arms so that'll be quite useful also has wheels so that might be good for going upstairs seems to have some kind of storage as well so that's an interesting uh, concept looks quite futuristic this one in the middle, it's got a single wheel here, so that's quite curious. Once again with arms, a little bit smaller, 
display on the on the front here on the head bit and some other kind of potential displays here it looks quite kind of uh kind of alien like so that's quite interesting that's a curious one then here we seem to have one that's flying maybe like levitating don't know if there's some extra like power things here looks like it also has some storage maybe some radio equipment so that's uh that's quite curious so that's an interesting kind of first look at the concepts and like i said we also have uh version here without the rings i mean maybe the uh the rings is an indication of a power shield or something like that so that's kind of curious i mean these look very believable it's in the shape of uh kind of a cello case as we know it so that's pretty cool i think it'd be interesting to to see these if they appeared uh kind of in person if you ended up in a concert or something a rehearsal or going down the street and you saw these i think that would be uh would be pretty interesting so yeah good job um to uh Asan Siddiqui 10, uh, very nice, and I'll put a link in the uh, description. Next up, we have Ag Draw or AG Draw. So, this is interesting. I think this one is really quite cute. This reminds me a bit of a kind of like a Wally kind of type uh, thing, like a little friendly robot. So, here we are going from uh, this is just one concept here, so different views. So, in the front, you've got a screen, a smiley face, looks like it's got a camera there for visuals. Looks like it also might have some kind of extra kind of bits like detachable arms or a backpack there. Looks like it's got a screen to give you some information and stuff like that. So it's probably got some audio stuff. It's got wheels, so that might help moving around going upstairs. So that's kind of quite interesting. Uh, looks fairly compact. Once again, a fairly similar uh, kind of style of case to what we're used to here in the side profile. It's maybe a little bit uh, thin for a cello but i'm sure that could be developed so yeah cute little uh little robot there uh which i think could be pretty pretty cool to see meeting down the street so uh good job to ag draw or ag draw on that one so up next we have Fezardi. a bit of a confession here i did kind of change the brief slightly for this one based on the previous work of this person i did say could you do something in an anime style like Appleseed or uh, the character specifically Briarios from Appleseed? So if anyone knows that uh, anime, you'll know what I mean. It's kind of a mech type person with wings and looks really cool in a kind of uh, mech suit kind of thing. So this is kind of based on that. So essentially this one, we have like an armoured mech. It's got like a gun. It's got wings. The cello case you can see there on the back. I think this is brilliant. It's really, really interesting. Uh, it's got like a sword and stuff. It's like really 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 crazy like full-on mech so imagine dystopian future end of the world you know everything's going crazy then you call out your kind of mech because you need to get to the concert in time and there's people that might try and steal your cello or destroy your cello so that's full-on craziness i did also ask him to kind of provide uh some stripped down versions of that so here we can see the guns are gone now so We've still got the wings and the cello case there, so it's slightly friendly. This is maybe super speed. You're late for the uh, concert, but you really want to get there on time. So this can probably fly and wheel around. There's a whole load of stuff this one can do. And then also even kind of friendlier, the wings are gone. So just wheeling it around super speed uh, kind of uh, cello delivery there. So I think this is really, really cool work like amazing kind of art so uh, really well done to Fazadi for providing this one now we have uh, Gazlen Co Michael who provided a few different kind of options here and we've put them together in a line so these are kind of futuristic style uh, kind of robot friendly robot uh, cases here this also reminds me a bit of a Wally kind of thing like kind of future like a friendly future all very kind of clean kind of friendly kind of type thing so a few different kind of ideas here all a similar kind of principle like a friendly face i can imagine this one kind of greeting you and saying hello um looks like they're all on wheels here so they're probably super speed the actual kind of design is fairly kind of similar they've all got arms though so that'd be quite useful so yeah it looks like a kind of friendly uh, kind of cases here so maybe in the future I could see this kind of you're walking along and then behind you you have this kind of friendly uh, cello case it's kind of you know maybe it's, yeah it's little friendly talks with you and stuff like that and yeah it looks like a, a friendly character so uh, yeah well done to uh, Gazlen, uh, Gazlenko Michael on this one because I think this is really cool looks really really friendly and I could definitely imagine this in a kind of a city of the future 
Next, we have some work from John Ramos 03, some really cool kind of digital 3D uh, work here. This is crazy. Look at the kind of the shading and stuff on the glass. This really reminds me of like a Fallout kind of style thing, like the computer game, if you know that properly kind of end of the world uh, future. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely crazy. You can see the cellos in some kind of glass case, maybe armoured or so. Looks like it has some kind of like controls and it's got some kind of fuel system to make it kind of fly around and levitate. So I think really in the you know far future, if the Fallout games are ever going to kind of have uh, musical instruments uh, in them or kind of some kind of funny thing about musical instruments, I think it'd be really great to get these kind of concepts. So I think that looks amazing. That's really, really cool. Uh, then we have another one here. This is almost like a mech, uh, like real solid kind of thing. And I believe you open the doors here and your cello case is there. So this is like the armoured kind of future, real kind of like battlefield mech kind of stuff. I think this is really cool. Lovely shading stuff. Some really nice uh, work here. We also have this one, which I think is awesome. This is another kind of like flying one. I believe that this is like a kind of a drop down uh, ship kind of thing in the the cello is stored in this case so that's really interesting kind of futuristic way of uh, transporting your cello so I definitely see that as a kind of interesting uh, kind of future space concept uh, then possibly my favorite I think this is absolutely amazing so back to the glass case but we're on kind of spider legs here or some kind of legs this is real kind of fallout vibes to me i think this is really awesome i love all the shading and everything i think this is absolutely crazy um yeah i think this is really amazing stuff so i think he's really really talented and also i did ask him just to do this uh kind of color version of it as well so you've got this green and yellow kind of mech engineering nice blue case inside so the case itself is all very kind of standard but it's in this kind of futuristic uh, transportation thing so I think this is really really cool so I really enjoy um, John Ramos 03's uh, artwork I think it's really really cool stuff next up we have Paolo Montes 86 so this is really cool concept stuff this is actually one of the initial sketches um, there's a more f uh, fleshed out work that we'll see next but I thought I'd include these because I thought these were really cute so we have kind of a few uh, different ideas similar to some of the stuff we've seen before some wheeled varieties here and then like gravity floating ones these are really really cute kind of anime looking things with faces this one has ears display little hands and stuff i think these are really really cute concepts and then it's been fleshed out a bit further here like this is a really cute design i love the kind of the shading and the lighting here on this this is like a real kind of almost comic book character kind of uh, cello case there so I could imagine like a comic about a cellist and their cello case and the cello case following them around and having a friendship or adventures and stuff so I think this is really really cool stuff so um, yeah well done to uh, Paolo Montes 86 for this because I think this is really really cute and I could imagine this being like a, a true friend AI companion of a cello case so uh, yeah great stuff on that really really cool then last up we have the shadow in rain who is uh provided quite a few different kind of sketch ideas actually there's another set of these sketches and then there's one which is a bit more fleshed out so i think these are really really cool uh this one looks great like looks like a kind of flying one with these maybe orbs or maybe that security devices this one looks a bit more like a interesting robot a bit skeletal there uh this one looks a bit like a turtle but looks like kind of flying looks a bit angry maybe with the red eye this one's really cool i like this kind of idea interesting to have the cello kind of upside down that's curious and these wings looks like a kind of uh, interesting insect this one even more so looks like a real kind of interesting future cello case so really cool concept um here is a bit more kind of interesting robotic things this one looks like very kind of armored cello case um, this one looks a bit like the robot from Short Circuit, if you remember that film. So I think that one's really cute. This one looks a bit like a kind of friendly uh, kind of type character as well. So some really cool ideas here. This one reminds me of like a seahorse. Uh, interesting that you have like the looks to be like the the scroll of the cello down by the wheels. I think that's really, really cool. But I think these are really nice like drawings. I'm amazed um, that you can just give people like a few kind of 
prompts of what you want and they come up with these cool sketches so i think these are really really cool uh then we got a few more here as well this one a bit more like a kind of larger robot type like a mech another bit more uh kind of robots with tracks here so that's cool this is quite a nice flying one looks interesting a bit like a spaceship here's some more kind of uh interesting kind of cute-ish ones maybe like a kind of pokemon digimon kind of type of thing this one looks also like a bit of a curious character like a jester type uh, another one here interesting robot concepts kind of here this one as well quite curious this one looks almost cute almost like a kind of polar bear so that one's quite sweet um so then uh we also had like a fleshed out version this is the one uh that was chosen uh this is an interesting one so this is based on the uh the robot kind of mech here so i think this is quite curious with color obviously an interesting uh positioning of the cello it is uh somewhat uh phallic uh, must be honest um, but it is kind of an interesting concept and i hadn't actually thought about transporting the cello upside down so i'd be curious to know kind of what people actually think about if that is uh, a good idea or not but yeah really interesting art there from the uh, the shadow uh rain so there you go some really interesting concept designs for an ai or robotic cello case of the future and i really think that this might be something uh, i know it's a crazy idea but i think it might happen so yeah i hope you like this video and if you did please let me know and if it's popular then maybe we'll do some more or we'll do something else kind of crazy like this i really enjoyed it and i really love working with the artists and supporting them so yeah please check out the links in the description and check out the artists because it is really cool to kind of uh commission stuff and get people to do things for you it's like amazing just to see it develop so uh, i had a lot of fun i'd like to kind of move the project along forward and and uh, I really appreciate you for watching this video. So thanks a lot. Take care and goodbye.